Hi Pisces, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-July general reading. Again, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, I'm feeling like changing it up today, and we're filming from my kitchen slash living room, so I hope that's all right with y'all. I just... You know, us Pisces need change. Like we like the change. We like we don't like stagnant. We're, you know, in the ocean, we're in the the rivers. We just we like to move around. Like when we get stagnant, we got to change it. So, Pisces, maybe some of y'all are feeling that as well. So, let's get into it. Um don't forget as we always do, I'll still be doing the love reading right after this, I, as I always do. If you want to check out the love reading where we connect with the other person you're dealing with right now in love and romance and relationships, um check out the description box below. Your love reading will be there, okay? It's the first link down there. All right, Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces for mid-July? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got three more shuffles. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? Some messages may apply, some may not, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. And I hope y'all are doing well. Pisces have been extra on my mind these last couple of days, not just because I'm a Pisces, um, but... Like, I've been seeing, you know, online or anywhere, it's just like Pisces, Pisces. Like, I don't know what it is. So, something's going on, Pisces. I feel like there's something important for y'all going on. So, let's let's find out. All right. Ooh, could be a new person for some of you. We got the page of cups with the sun card behind that. I love this energy, especially to kick it off. You know, this is a true Pisces energy. The page of cups definitely can represent another water sign, a cancer, a Scorpio, but with the fish in the cup, I know I'm a little further away, but some of y'all have asked to see the card, so I'm doing my best. Um, you know, with the fish in the cup, you know, it, it, it is a little bit more of a true Pisces energy to me. But a happy Pisces. Look at this. Happy, happy Pisces. We've got Page of Cups, the Sun card, and the Three of Swords behind that. So I feel this energy of transformation, of really healing past stuff, not just in relationships. But I feel like, Pisces, you've really been working on old stories and old patterns okay what has broken your heart from way 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 long time ago okay i feel like you have found some answers some clarity and you're feeling so happy is what i'm trying to say with this page of cups as your starting energy especially with the sun with that very abundant very flirty um even if like you're in a relationship you're like hey what's up boyfriend girlfriend you know like you just feel a little bit more more romantic a little bit back to yourself, that fun, free, flirty, open, curious, and happy Pisces. This is a happy Pisces that I'm connecting with. So I like that. I like that. Okay, let's get the crossing energy out. Let's crossing this energy for Pisces. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. That's kind of a lot, but I feel like I'm going to take it. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Star in Reverse. Some of you specifically could be dealing with an Aquarius or were dealing with, okay? Crossing the Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Star card in Reverse. So it's like I feel this kind of two-parted energy, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Some of you are really happy and wanting to um, connect, investigate, um, or invest in some type of family, home, property, project, or connection within the family or about your business. I feel like also with this Page of Pentacles, there's this cur curious energy um, around work, around finances, around how you bring in your money, okay? And I feel like this Ten of Swords with this star card in reverse, for some of you, again, specifically if you were dealing with an Aquarius, it might be over if they were a friend or whatever, or they just might not be in their best energy. Some of you could be worried about um, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, knowing how stressed out they are with the Ten of Swords. I kind of feel like you're, in a way, like helping someone they don't have to be an air sign, but I also feel this energy of like you trying to help someone in this dark times because I feel like this is where you just were. So I kind of feel this energy, Pisces, bear with me here, stay with me. 
of you're feeling good, you've kind of shed some layers, realized some stuff about your past, you're kind of all in, feeling good either in your relationship, work, family, whatever, kind of all of it, right? But, you know, there's someone around you, I feel like with this Ten of Swords and Star card, that there's someone around you that really needs your light. They need that Page of Cups in you. They need that, that uplifting, positive, um, almost sensual energy from you. Even if it's a friend, I feel like you're going to inspire somebody. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing started from the bottom, now we hear. So, and I'm looking at the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this could also be uh, an energy of, you know, Pisces, maybe you're really good at what you do for work. Maybe you are in the spotlight in some regard with the star card. Um, and other people are like, how did you do it, Pisces? How do you reach that level of success? How do you, how do you, how do you? And some of you are sharing your secrets and some of you are not. <laughs> What's the uh, focus here for Pisces, Spirit? What's the focus? What's the focus for Pisces? Thank you. Ace of Wands. Yes, yes, yes. New beginnings, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look at that. Devil in reverse. You are, sh again, shedding your skin, shedding layers of toxicity. A Capricorn specifically. Some of you could be not dealing with a Capricorn anymore. Um... But I feel like you have, because the hangman is right behind this double in reverse. So I feel like you have taken the time, Pisces, hangman, to figure out how do I get rid of this dark energy? And, and, and I actually don't even want to say that. I don't, I don't want to say cancel or, 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 or get rid of that negative energy because it's about finding balance. It's about finding balance. And I feel like with this Ace of Wands, like you found it. You have found balance on how to kind of deal with the light and the dark at the same time. Because don't forget you're a Pisces. Don't forget that you are half in the 3D world and half in the spiritual world. So you do deal with a lot of out there kind of energy all the time, whether you realize it or not, right? So anyways, what I'm trying to say is your focus is there's a happy new beginning here um, in a relationship for you. Uh, like the, the sexual energy, I feel like is really like you're thinking about it a lot because uh, this is your focus position is this new beginning, you know, in career, um, in work, family. I feel like you are motivated, motivated right now, Pisces, to just kind of in life just kind of everywhere because you feel great what's been in pisces past pisces past five of pentacles in reverse um if you're worried about money i feel like you don't need to worry anymore especially with the ten of um pentacles showing up in your reading but uh, about friends or relationships if you have felt lonely in the past you have fixed it you're releasing that sense of loneliness because pisces you're never lonely you have your spirit team, you have your light, you have your own self. And isn't that enough? It is, it's more than enough. Whoop, too many cards came out. All right, let's get the crowning energy in this reading for Pisces. Spirit, what's the crowning energy? What's the crowning energy? Thank you, Spirit. Emperor, some of you are dealing with an Aries, but you're the boss. You've got this under control. Um, three of Cups, you're, you feel good. The, the cups that are coming out, the emotions are great. These are great, this is a great reading, Pisces. Um, you're in your, focus, in your focus, in your, not focus, in your crowning energy, you have the Emperor. Some of you could be thinking about an Aries, but more so this is about, I got this. Um, some of you are, are in a romantic situation thinking about your divine masculine. Even if your masculine is a, is a female, we all have masculine and feminine energies. I know y'all know what I'm saying. So you feel good. Three of, of cups with the emperor. You feel like in your mind, you know, you feel so good. Like almost like a reward, like a cell, like an internal celebration of like, you know what? I've got this. I got work under control, relationships under control, families under control, you know, but not controlling them, but you feel in control of you. So therefore these energies naturally feel good. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. What's in the future here for Pisces? What's in the future energy? Woo, that flipped itself around. Judgment was in reverse and went to the 
upright with the seven of pentacles in reverse it is time to graduate pisces it's graduation day you have your cap and gown on spiritually speaking and you're moving to the next level it is time for you to move forward and move on it is time for you to move forward and move on i feel like i'm going to say it one more time it's coming through so clear it is time for you to move on to move forward and move on okay what is pisces power in the situation what's pisces power feeling good three of cups two of pentacles in reverse you've dropped a weight of something you've dropped a something that was taking up so much of your time your energy maybe your money like you you've dropped something that just wasn't serving you that's going to be different for each and every one of you come on foot get comfortable there we go um but your power here is to love and embrace this ace of wands this new beginning embrace it creativity um, friendship connections, happiness in relationships. Um, this is beautiful. This is really, really, really nice, Pisces. What is in Pisces environment? Thank you, Spirit. What is in Pisces environment? Eight of Cups in reverse. Someone around you, they could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but someone within their emotions around you in your environment feels like there's something missing. They feel like, um, and with this Knight of Pentacles, it could they could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so it could be for someone around you, like maybe their work is not um, fulfilling them. Maybe they're just their energy. They could feel tired. Let's get one more for environment since we have someone who wants to move on from something. Someone around you is turning their back and, you know, walking away from something that used to make them happy or, or thought they, something that they thought made them happy. One more for Pisces environment. Thank you. Nine of cups. So this person is, wow, really, really taking their time and doing step by step, but I love it. Um, signs who take their time are earth signs, even though this is water, um, you know, which is good. Earth is practical, water is fast, we swim, right? <laughs> um, so three of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, for some of for some of you around someone around you, it could be about work, like they've maybe not been happy with their job or something like that. But but for another group of you, I feel like in your environment, someone's working on themselves emotionally um, and understanding what self-care and self-love is with this nine of cups. Also for someone around you, Pisces, their wishes are coming in, especially if they had to travel to you um, and to connect with you, they feel like, oh my gosh, that's, that's, that feels good to them. Beautiful, what are the hopes and fears? I feel like I don't have to yell anymore. The AC finally went off. It's been on all day, I live in Texas. It's like, in we're in those like three month, we're in that three month time frame where it's over 100 every single day. All right, what are the hopes and fears for Pisces? Hierophant in reverse. Some of you, um, your hope is to um, not be with a Taurus, leave a Taurus, a Taurus to leave you, something like that. Um, but more so, I feel like just the untraditional. You know, like you want to do things your own way. You don't want to be put in a box. Okay, the Hierophant can talk about marriage and spirituality. and But but to me, I'm just feeling the, the essence here of the tradition of, of this is how my parents did it. This is how my grandparents did it. This is how, you know, this is how we've always done it. And I feel like an energy here of like you breaking these, these chains, breaking these molds, breaking these patterns of I'm Pisces, I'm different. I don't have to do things because, you know, my family does it that way, you know, my friends over there kind of do it that way. Pisces, you're kind of open. You're open, you're like you're thinking outside of the box and you know you're already outside of the box. I wanna get one more for your hopes and fears. And don't forget if any of this was about love for you or you wanna know what's going on with the other person in love and romance right now, Pisces, how they feel towards you, um, what is going on in y'all's connection, outcome energy, healing energy, um, advice energy, what's their next step, your next step, all of that stuff is in the love reading. Um, so make sure that you, if you wanna check that out, it's in the description box below. But let's get one more hopes and fears and then outcome. 
Seven of Cups in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles coming out of a fog, Pisces. Your hope is to, you know, if it's about love or dating for you, you know, Seven of Cups can kind of be like an options or dating card. So if that's, if that's you, you know, maybe you've found the one or you found someone that you want to <clears throat> put effort and energy into. Someone who you think that would um, last a long time. That work for you. I feel like for a lot of you, you found a creative path. <clears throat> a creative path or some type of job or career that with the knight of pentacles is going to be something very long lasting for you really good and bottom of the deck is with the sun so this is happy all right let's get that outcome for pisces spirit what's the outcome here for pisces four of cups in reverse to me is ace of cups feeling you know, kind of coming out of that past stagnant board energy, bottom of the deck, we've got temperance. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarian. Um, and the four of wands is right behind that. The four of wands is right behind that. So connection, union, you did it, you've got it. The connection, you know, it's all there. It might just take some time. It might take some healing. Okay, so be patient. I know y'all hate when I say that, but you know, the universe is going to deliver your gifts, you know, when it's meant for you specifically so i love the four of cups as the outcome kind of again shedding some layers shedding some skin and being open to new opportunities especially in love and creativity pisces so very very good thank you for being here don't forget to check out the extended uh, your love reading sending out lots of love and i'll see y'all soon bye